Dark este un profesionist cu experiență în vânzări și managementul conturilor cheie în sectorul HVAC și ocupă funcția de Key Account Manager la Rensa. My name is Dirk Roos. I'm uh, working at uh, uh, the Dutch wholesale uh, Rensa Heating and Ventilation. So just like uh, Uniprest, we are part of the Rensa family and I am uh, working at the national uh, accounts. So uh, these are few of the customers I visit. Uh, those are all national operating with proficiency in HVAC, uh, sanitary installations, electrical inter- installations, and uh, they face quite some difficulties at the moment. And we are trying to help them uh, with those difficulties. So the, this is a small recap of tomorrow, of, of this morning. Um, The uh, main circumstance that is challenging is the increasing uh, uh, shortage of craftsmen. Um, second, the decreasing knowledge uh, due to retirement of technical employees is a problem as well. Um, they are the, the the knowledge is leaking out of the market uh, uh, at the moment, and um, we do not have um, a fi- of, uh, enough. Uh, new employees flowing into the market and that's why most installers are uh, training their uh, their own employees um, setting up business schools by themselves because there's not enough output uh, out of the school system um, that comes with some circumstances we can't influence the uh, prices of natural gas are fluctuating uh, a lot at the moment and Uh, so there, we are selling a lot of heat pumps, uh, heat recovery units, and it it comes with more complexity. You have to have more knowledge about the the systems we sell, uh, and to, that combined with the uh, decreasing knowledge of of uh, is is uh, um, yeah, it's very difficult for our customers. These circumstances are um, also for uh, Renza and the wholesale, um, resulting in some other uh, ingredients we can offer our customers. Um, First of all, our customers are uh, looking at working more efficient uh, by industrializing their uh, construction sites, both uh, residential as the utility uh, construction. Um, They really want to know what they are going to do on a construction site um, and uh, Another uh, ingredient is that uh, constructors are um, factory making their own houses, including installations, uh, just so they can um, uh, prepare the installations in-house in a clean environment. And um, uh, that brings more efficiency in the supply chain from the uh, uh, first part to the last part. That resulted in the wholesale started prefabricating in 2017. We are taking more responsibility in the whole uh, chain of of supply within the wholesale. And um, the most important ingredient to work together with uh, with my customers is trust. If we want to uh, have a bigger role in uh, taking a part of the installation work, a customer has to have the trust in the wholesale to cooperate with us. Um, and that requires early involvement. Uh, Renza invested in a technical department long ago. So we have uh, BIM engineers, technical advisors. Um, so we can cooperate in the very early uh, stadium of the building process with our customers. Um, and that comes with a little bit of trust. You have to trust on the knowledge we have in-house so we can Uh, check a BIM model together and uh, optimize the BIM model. The responsibility, because we are installing um, some components, is uh, quite different. Uh, I, I'm working uh, for 10 years now at Renza. It's quite different if we look look at it back 10 years ago. Yeah, we have quite some knowledge in Holland in the in the in the wholesale, and uh, the involvement of the of the right people at the right place is key in bringing more efficiency to the construction side. Um, the goal we have with prefabricating uh, installation components is bringing less failures to the construction side, 
so the craftsmen, craftsmen on the construction site can uh, deliver more output. Uh, our main goal is not to take over work. We want to add value so we can uh, bring up the efficiency and uh, shorten the whole duration of a, a construction uh, process. And of course, uh, win together by the end of the day. Um, we divided different phases. Uh, I already discussed some of the teams, but we add value in every different phase of the project. For, uh, for example, in the engineering phase, we can look at the brands someone has selected. Does it fit the question that there is being asked by the customer of the inst installer? Uh, what is the total cost of ownership of a, uh, an installation? Uh, is the uh, selected heat pump the best solution or do we have to look at other technical solutions? Uh, if we look at the uh, work preparation phase, uh, that's, I, th I think that's the uh, phase we bring the most efficiency because um, we analyze the proje project uh, sp specific boundaries. We have our own transports. We can look at all the uh, materials that are uh, needed in the whole process and uh, work on an optima forma for the, for the project. If we look at order management, uh, if we combine uh, different products, we can also reduce the products we connect to each other. So it will uh, take take care of a lot of invoices, article numbers, uh, orders themselves. We can combine them and in, the, in an early phase of the project, we are able to uh, optimize uh, for the rest of the project. Um, if we looked at look at uh, project management during the uh, construction and during the uh, realization of the installation, we really sit next to the installer. So we th there's a uh, contact on a daily basis with the work preparator, foreman, and the project management because we deliver every day or every week, uh, every two weeks. Uh, we really sit next to each other. And in the execution phase, that's where the output is uh, shown of what we thought about in the early phases. Um, we want to deliver more output. We want to work faster uh, and more efficient. Uh, like I said, we already invested in uh, 3D modeling uh, quite a, a time uh, back. And these are some of the examples um, we build together with customers. So it, it's from very complex to quite simple, but we try to uh, sit next to the installer in the early phase and make a, a, a smart design uh, at start. And if we get the chance to sit alone in the uh, 3D modeling phase, or even make the model for our customer, we are, um, starting in the early phase and uh, getting the best results is our experience so far. Now, if we look at the output of our prefabrication, these are some of examples of what we delivered today. Um, last year, we uh, passed about 150 uh, projects uh, with the prefab department and the variety of the amount of units is approximately 20 to about 600 units per uh, project. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite uh, enormous already. Well, the customer case, uh, I would like to show you, there's a short movie uh, uh, in between, is with one of our best customers, Bremen. Bremen is an installer with uh, 1,600 people with a national coverage. They do maintenance, um, uh, residential uh, buildings and utilities. Um, their turnover is about 300 million euros. Uh, annual and um, a few years back we had a very successful project in the, the Leiden area it's in the west of the Netherlands and we cooperated in the uh, project with 621 uh, units it's uh, student housing and young professional housing and uh, we got involved in a very early phase so it gave us the chance to sit together uh, invite the customer over to our warehouse where we are uh, prefabricating all the stuff they were using in the project and um, make a, a mock-up room so we could trial and error together with a, a foreman, work preparator and the project uh, uh, manager. And we developed a logistical plan 
together. Uh, we even made some changes in the materials they were about to use because we saw uh, with the, making the mock-up room that there were some errors which would take quite a lot of time if we would uh, uh, use them in the project. So we changed, we changed it together uh, during, during the early phases. And the main goal why we did this was because it was a, a very small construction site in a very busy area uh, with no possibility to store a lot of materials on the construction site. Um, so we had uh, very strict time slots. We had to deliver every day, um, not between eight and nine because there was a school next to this building. Uh, it was between nine and 10. We had to be there if you weren't on time you were uh, you could come back next day um, and the lift to transport the materials to the different floors was reserved for our materials so uh, i could talk a lot more but we have some uh, video about it Ik ben projectleider op de vestiging Zuid-Holland en daar stuur ik het team aan binnen als werkvoorbereider en een tekenaar. En buiten de jongens op de bouw stuur ik aan en begeleid ik termijnen ophalen, vergaderingen volgen. Het project is 621 appartementen, een gedeelte studentenhuisvesting, een gedeelte jong professional huisvesting. En die zijn we in samenspraak met Ballas Nederland Forum zijn we die aan het bouwen. We hebben de samenwerking gezocht met Renza om het installatieproces zo snel mogelijk en vlot mogelijk te laten lopen. Daarvan maken we bij Renza gebruik van de prefab afdeling die een aantal dingen in elkaar zetten voor ons. Waardoor wij sneller kunnen monteren, waardoor het proces van 20 woningen per week die hier in de planning staat gehaald kunnen worden. En daardoor ja, lopen we in principe wel voorop in die planning ook en sluit iedereen daarop aan. De duurzaamheid die hier in het gebouw zit is de opwekking van een warmtepomp boiler met twee WTW-boxen ervoor. Die de luchtterugwinning waardoor de, de boiler zo efficiënt mogelijk de warm water voorziet voor de appartementen in deze woning. So what you just saw, uh, we cut the whole project in two different phases. If you look at our deliveries, um, the first phase contained uh, the trolleys you just saw. Um, it contained the prefab ventilation, it was not in the video, the heat pump boiler, um, together with the heat recovery units. And like I said up front, we delivered those, uh, like you saw, at a, a fixed time every day. So they could be delivered uh, straight into the lift and being transported to the, uh, the units they were supposed to be in. Uh, we also had the same truck driver. It's a trend in uh, the Netherlands that we have to uh, deliver in time frames. So uh, a returning uh, truck driver is uh, very helpful if they know the uh, locations where they have to uh, deliver. Uh, that's something we, uh, we can offer our customers. Um, in phase two, we prefab the sanitary installation in the same trolleys and um, we took back packaging. It's quite a trend in the, uh, in the Netherlands that we have to reduce the amount of packaging, plastics, uh, cardboard, uh, foam, which comes within the uh, delivery uh, from uh, the manufacturer. And we are more and more taking back uh, those materials. Uh, it, uh, for the installer it uh, they have to walk up and down to uh, bring back the cardboard and now they could put it back in the trolley and it was uh, taken back to uh, our uh, department well th the main goal we have is to make everything more efficient so um, afterwards we discussed what it brought our uh, customer and uh, the results were very very good um, uh, the figures are in the in the picture. They made a, a net profit on the project of uh, 1.2 uh, million euros and about 7% of the 
was uh, directed to the uh, logistics we set up together. Applause for all from us. Um, do you think the prefabs are the future or the present? I saw uh, Dennis' opinion, but what is the rate of adoption in the Netherlands and what are the obstacles for this adoption? It depends uh, on which market you, uh, you look at. In the residential buildings, it's, uh, at this moment, it's, it's very common. But if you look at uh, utilities, the early adoption of cooperating together with the wholesaler is uh, yeah, quite an uh, objective we, we can't always uh, accomplish yet. But it, it, is, uh, it is there today. We have to. Uh, as you saw already, uh, the proper workforce is one of the main problems for the audience and they need to tackle this problem one way or another. I think you had, and as Dennis told us, you still have this problem. Uh, prefabs, I think, are not the answer of this problem entirely. So uh, I'm asking you if there's something um, you tried and made the situation feel better uh, in the work field. We want to make it more predictable. Mm -hmm. So if we can predict what we have to make, uh, whether it is political or economical, uh, a circumstance which makes it more difficult, if you can predict what you have to make uh, and think about it in a clever way, you can make more output with less people. Thank you very much.